Hello and welcome, it's Jilly Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with a pour on this 40 by 40 centimetre canvas. Um, started off doing this, just the circle as a template to give me a basically a starting point from where I wanted to do my metallic starburst piece today. Um, and I did paint the center of that um, that it's burnt umber with a bit of black in it and I was going to keep some negative space in the center um, but yeah it you'll see that I sort of went off tether with it but I am equally thrilled with the results and hope that you will be so I'll just explain as we go along but yeah I just did that to the center and was going to leave negative space but I'm never good with negative space so we'll um, just push on from here and I'll get my colors and explain to you as we go along with the colors so I had them uh, pre-mixed up from the other day and just added a few more colors to what I already had to finish off so that's the very last of that kind of baby blue like a duck egg blue or as my husband said he had a sports car in that very pale blue when he was young so um, not very bright and vibrant I don't find but I suppose whatever floats your boat that's all good so I've used up the last bit of that now and then I'll just keep continuing on loading the colours up around that uh, center guide um, and explain as I go along what I'm using there is the color called dark sea they're all global colors you will find a link for them down below in my drop down box I have had a very 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 busy few days um, my Bindi, my Australian Shepherd, had her last litter of puppies that she'll be having. Um, she is an absolute fantastic mother of a dog. She is births really easy and um, looks after the puppies like just guards them with a life. She's a super duper mom. So in a few days I will get photos of the delightful little bunch that we had and I'll um, post some photos if not a little video on one of my um, art videos if you don't mind so that color that I have there is the phalo blue it's um, these colors are really going to give this canvas a really wonderful pop I believe So I've now added the metallic gold and I added, what else have I got in there? Oh, the metallic copper 
uh, and then I will finish off with uh, some white in there I guess so as to give um, me like a really nice surface to uh, do the chaos blue that is metallic silver so there's such a lot of lovely metallics in here it will make the whole thing just pop it really will so this was a nice relaxing one for me and I really needed to do this after my absolutely hectic crazy few days The colour that I'm adding there, <coughs> excuse me, is a metallic ultraviolet. This is one by Global also. So I'm just thinking that this will really pop in there also. <coughs> Just as I said before, I'm going to finish off with the white so it'll give me a nice um, flowy kind of consistency to blow those colours out. Yeah, I've just moved it a little bit further back because I know that I'll end up blowing it all over myself and all over the floor. So what I'm doing here is just giving it a whiz over with the heat one, it bursts any air bubbles and if it sells you after, uh, which I'm not in this particular one, the heat wand can help bring up cells. So I will give it now the chaos blow. boy oh boy that is so gorgeous the colors so feathery and kind of romantic -y kind of look I believe um, of course look I ended up covering the whole of that center so there was absolutely <laughs> no reason for the uh, brown 
um, at Burnt Umber in the centre as a guide and whatnot because I ended up filling it. But what I'm trying to do here is some rolls so they don't actually look like balloon kisses. They almost look like wings in there or rolls. So it creates like a feathery effect in the canvas, just rolling your balloon. So really love this effect and I'm only going to do it in the centre. And uh, I'll again then add a bit of heat to my work to help the uh, paint absorb into the canvas. And I am done and I absolutely love this because of all those metallics. It is just glistening. Um, so you'll see the end photos. And I hope you enjoy my lovelies as I really want you to uh, take care of yourselves. Remember, if you're feeling sad, lonely or upset, please ring a family member or a friend or if not, a helpline. There is always someone there to help. Do not suffer in silence. OK, there we go. I will be back tomorrow. That has a funny face in it. Holy dooly. Cause all I want is to get some shut eye But the thought of you is keeping me awake I don't know what it is